Hey everybody, this is Ben from the content team here at PlayBuzz. And for today's quick tip on best practices for playful content, I'm going to talk about when to use polls in your articles. Polls are great because they keep people actively interacting with your article content. Today's content consumers no longer sit and read long form article pages like they used to. Research has shown that 78% of readers don't finish the article that they read online. Audiences want to interact and unlock different aspects of the media they're consuming. And we don't like the feeling of being buried under block after block of static text. Most importantly though, people like sharing content with their peers. So unless your content delivers a fun, interactive experience, and unless it's optimized for social media sharing, it's just not going to draw the type of attention that it deserves. One of the easiest ways to make your article more shareable and increase its viral potential is by including a simple interactive poll that asks your audience what they think about what they've just read. That way, you're not just giving your audience an article to passively consume, you're giving them an experience that is ultimately about what they think and their opinions. So, some basic guidelines. First off, anytime your article touches on a subject that involves different opinions, especially if it's about news or politics, as we see here, adding a poll will increase the engagement and share rates. People want to be heard, and they're more likely to share something that has taken their opinion into account, especially with their opinions presented in the context of the wider public. For example, here's a short article from one of our partners, The Telegraph, about the leadership of the Conservative Party in the UK. Including a poll at the end of the article enables the Telegraph readers to have their voices heard and to see if other readers agree, which makes this article far more likely to be shared. Now when your article touches on something that is controversial or highly debated, adding a poll makes readers feel like they're a part of the conversation. For example, here we have an article from Distractify about a controversial subject. At the bottom we have a poll asking the reader what they think about what they've just read. If your article is about something more visual that evokes different opinions such as art or fashion, even celebrities, adding a poll turns your article into a platform for discussion. Here we have a great example again from the Telegraph about white gloves. Are they an awesome accessory or a fashion faux pas? Anytime you have a question like this, it's a major opportunity to get your audience engaged and put in their two cents. Here we have a few examples from one of our partners, MTV. We can see from all of these examples that when you're dealing with the way something looks, asking your audience what they think is a super powerful way to help people feel that the content represents their own identities and values. So remember, anytime you can engage your audience by giving them a platform to have their voices heard, you're making your article more identifiable, more relevant, and far more likely to be shared. And that's it for now. I'll talk to you soon with some more playful content, best practices tips from PlayBuzz.